Chapman. Sammy was out, Dave was recording new songs for the Greatest Hits collection, and it all seemed to make sense, but there was much more to it. Here's more from Eddie and Alex telling our very own Chris Conley exactly what transpired between the band and its former singers. We tried to be gentlemen about this, and I guess we're just gonna get a little bit nasty right now. You felt he didn't give 100% effort. Put it this way. No judgment, no judgment, no, just, a, just, line, just, just, just a fact. No, wait a minute. Bottom line is work ethic sucked, okay? Now, if he wanted to be in this band and be a team player, he would be here right now. Well, what happened at the MTV Awards that, that changed the nature of your relationship with David? Um, <laughs> it wasn't and, his onstage antics, which, for one, I thought was embarrassing. Uh, and disrespectful, disrespectful to Beck. Very disrespectful to Beck, as he's trying like to thank, to you know, Ham, uh, people, his acceptance speech, whatever. Days behind him doing his shtick, you know? And it's like, uh, I don't know. To me, it was embarrassing. But it was more so backstage where he basically spit in my face. Wait, 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 wait. We get shuffled off to the first mob uh, press conference, and everyone, eh, you know, yelling, screaming questions, and Dave just wasn't answering any of them. He was doing his off and bottom, best piece with the pops. So I just kind of walked up and said, look, everybody, just home. here's what's happening. Two songs, best of volume one, one of us would like us to do two videos, and that is it. If you think we're going on tour in the summer, forget it. We're not going to go out there and take your money. And if and when we ever do a tour with Roth in the future, we will have to write and record a new album first. Okay? I'm talking in the future. Not now that's what he said. This is not what this is not what we're saying now. No, 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 no. I'm saying that's, this is this yes. backstage to press conferences. Right. Okay? And I said December 16th. I, I needed a new hip, okay? So I was gonna throw a little wrench in the works. Uh, anyway, after about three of those, all of a sudden Dave's vibe changed. And instead of coming to me and saying, hey, Ed, come on, can we just not mention your hip thing? I had to go to him and go, Dave, what's the matter? What happened all of a sudden? You know, you're just all happy and stuff, and now you're like, all pissed off and, and whatever. And I go, he goes, well, hey, tonight's about me, man, not your fing hip. Tonight's about me. I just bit my tongue and I said, okay, Dave, the next one, you, Alex, and Michael do it, but answer the questions. And I will not mention my head. And he, I'll try and do a best impersonation. You better not. I win. Yeah. I mean, Scotty Ross, the <laughs> manager, almost had to, because I was ready to, you know, it's like all those years of, right there and i just said if you ever speak to me like that again you better be wearing a cup did you ever tell him categorically this is before mtv that he would not be in the band and he would not be touring period right. yes. yes yes absolutely i and told him quote, unquote, baby, baby steps. steps you know because every day and he would call me he would call ed yeah, and he'd I call, when are we going when are we taking this on tour close your, dave dave close we haven't even recorded a song yet when are we taking one on tour either he was high and just didn't hear the truth but he was never told or we never alluded to him being back in the band we'll get some final thoughts from eddie and alex in a moment but as promised here's a people that never accepted uh sam okay you know roth 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 okay well you know there are people who are not going to accept gary well, hey it's just life you know you can't if, if we don't please ourselves first, then we're not being honest to our fans. And we'd be living a lie. Exactly. It has to come from the heart. We have to be happy with it. Then we put it out, and if we touch one person with it, mission accomplished.